everyone, and welcome to the 2020 Excellence in Construction Awards program. The global pandemic has altered our game plan this year a little. This is a different year, but that did not stop construction, nor should we allow that to stop the recognition of our excellent projects that so many of you work so hard to build. I'm glad you could join us tonight as we celebrate the best of the best in merit shop construction throughout New England. I know many companies are doing watch parties tonight. Whether you're among colleagues watching this from a job site trailer or your home office, just know there are hundreds of your merit shop brethren celebrating across this chapter tonight with you. Yes, that's right, Will, and thank you very much for that. Tough times don't always last, but tough associations do. The ABC New Hampshire Vermont chapter is one that's been around for 35 years. And well, this is actually our anniversary, believe yeah, it or not. Yeah, it is. Our chapters responded to the COVID pandemic to provide curated, concise resources to get you quickly up to speed on government rules and regulations. Because as we know, they seem to change quite a bit, don't oh, yeah, they? Very fast. Well, we're also providing training online and in person with PPE and social distancing and a hybrid of the two. We've done some great events this year, outside of course, and online like the ceremony tonight. Because we're stronger together, ABC and our members will be here well beyond the next three decades. I want to thank Procon Construction for letting us come to you live from their facilities today. And I also want to personally thank our many, many premier sponsors, some of whom you'll hear from later tonight. First, I want to thank our diamond sponsor, Envire Advantage, for being a leading partner on this and all other ABC events. I want to specifically acknowledge the support from our platinum sponsors, Cross Insurance, Hinkley Allen & Snyder LLP, Longchamps Electric, Metro Walls, Nathan Wexler & Company CPA, North Point Construction Management, Oliver Mechanical, and the Raleigh Agency. And our gold sponsors, Bernstein Schur Sawyer & Nelson PA, the ABC New Hampshire Self-Insured Workers' Compensation Group, Al Terry Plumbing and Heating, Alpine Environmental, Divine Mill Mint and Branch PA, DEW Construction Corporation, Meridian Construction Corp, North Branch Construction, and our good friends at Service Credit Union. But most importantly, I want to acknowledge and say thank you to you. Yes, you, for being a part of the ABC. Let's enjoy tonight's presentation and give a big congratulations to all of our winners. So, Will, because this is kind of a novel format for us, we get to bring some of our partners into tonight's show. Great. They're going to help make it an extra special event. But first, why don't you tell us a little bit how it's going to work tonight. The format for tonight's awards is a lot different from last year. There is no stage and no acceptance speeches have had to be planned. We were unable to safely allow everyone accepting an award tonight to be here with us. But be sure to follow along and congratulate your peers on the website's live chat box. That sounds great. Awards will be presented in the following categories. Commercial 5 to 10 million. Commercial over 10 million. Commercial under 2 million. Design build. Historical restorations over 10 million. Industrial manufacturing. Institutional public 2 to 5 million. Institutional public over 10 million. Institutional public under 2 million. Private residences over 1 million. And Josh, the coveted Chairman's Award. Chairman's Award. Well, I can't wait to learn who wins that later tonight. Me too, because I have no clue. Our first award of the night is in the category of design build. An excellence award goes to Ekman Construction for the Dairyfield School Athletic and Wellness Center Science and Innovation Center project. The Dairyfield School, located in Manchester, New Hampshire, is a private school for students in grades 6 through 12. In 2015, the Dairyfield community determined that indoor athletic and science facilities upgrades were needed to keep pace with the school's growth. Ekman Construction was selected for the project, which began with a three-year fundraising campaign. Ekman was a true partner, providing marketing assistance, donor stewardship with construction tours, and presentations at school-wide assemblies to help build excitement for the project. The design-build project began in summer 2019 and included a standalone 42,000 square foot athletic and wellness center and the adaptive reuse of an existing 10,000 square foot gymnasium into a science and innovation center. The project was delivered in 17 months, on time and under budget, 
and with no recordable injuries. The new Athletic and Wellness Center houses three basketball courts, a weight room, a cardio room, locker rooms, and offices. The project involved removing approximately 30,000 cubic yards of fill, constructing an access road, and relocating utilities throughout campus. Construction of the Athletic and Wellness Center allowed Dairyfield to transform its old gymnasium into a new science and innovation center. The new space serves as an incubator for innovation, creativity and exploration, and includes three wet labs, two dry labs, a maker space, robotics lab, inspiration lounge, and an audio video production studio. Construction took place while school was in session, so temporary partitions were installed to create a secure buffer from the school students, staff, and daily operations. Background checks were performed on all employees of all subcontractors prior to beginning their work on campus. The existing campus infrastructure was not designed to support a building of this size, and getting power, sewer, and water service to the new building site was quite an undertaking. The project also required extensive stormwater drainage improvements and an unplanned replacement of a 36-inch diameter drainage line, which failed in an area outside of the construction zone. On-site crews were able to respond to this emergency immediately. The old drainage line was located and required a specialized excavator to reach the bottom of excavation. After three weeks of careful work in the dead of winter, the rotted drainage line was safely replaced and the parking lot was repaired before any storm events could further complicate the work. This project was a true design-build project, from concept to completion. The Ekman team assumed responsibility for translating the Dairyfield community's vision for two distinct projects into high-quality spaces that will meet the needs of the school for decades to come. Well, that's a pretty cool project. Well, what do we have up next? Our next project is in the category of private residence, over $1 million. North Branch Construction earned an excellence award for the remarkable job building a lakefront residence in Sunapee, New Hampshire. Boy, well, I don't know about you, but that was, I wish I could have them build me a million dollar home. I would love it. On the water? A new private lakeside residence in Sunapee, New Hampshire is an impressive vacation home built by North Branch Construction. This new contemporary style multi-level home was designed to showcase the view of Lake Sunapee and the surrounding New England landscape. The home features large glass expanses along the lake side of the structure, providing stunning lake views and high-end specialty finishes on the interior. The new 5,907 square foot vacation home was built after demolition of an existing 1970s era home on the lot. The total contract value was over $3.8 million. The home's unique design includes exposed beam wood ceilings, an open plank stairway to the second floor, and a large stone fireplace. A new product called Warm Board, a structural subfloor and radiant panel all-in-one system, was used for the installation of the radiant heat flooring. The product allows for the use of low water temperatures which decrease energy use and expense. The project began in the fall of 2017 with work continuing through the winter. Prior to demolition, Habitat for Humanity was called to salvage fixtures and other materials that could be reused or sold to benefit their organization. North Branch Construction faced a number of challenges during the project, the most obvious being working during cold winter months on the property which was exposed to the lake on two sides, providing little barrier to wind and cold temperatures. Keeping the roads clear of snow and ice from the steep driveway and access road was important for safety of all working on the project. Prior to the start of construction, a retaining wall supporting the driveway and entrance road needed to be redesigned and repaired to accommodate the heavy equipment that would navigate the area. Property setback restrictions resulted in a very tight work site, minimizing areas for work, storage of construction materials, and maneuvering of equipment. North Branch had to rely on just-in-time deliveries and built the house in segments by pouring the foundation in sections. 
The unique design of the floating stairway between the first and second floor presented a challenge in finding the proper attachments to safely construct the stairway, while maintaining the functional and architectural design elements desired. North Branch worked with the architect and structural engineers to solve the attachment challenge. The stone mason on the project was short-staffed, which slowed down the project. The masonry crew and North Branch personnel worked extra hours, including weekends, to make up for the staff shortage to finish the project on time. The stunning private lakeside residence was completed on time in August 2018. The family will enjoy this quality home for years to come. Hi, my name is Jeff Schroeder from Cross Insurance. I'd like to congratulate all the 2020 Excellence in Construction Award winners. It's a great honor and we have been supporters of ABC and the construction industry for many years. Um, Cross Insurance, we provide our customers with surety bonds, general liability, workers comp insurance, and provide excellent services in loss control and other construction related insurance services. Making their debut as a new ABC member this year, Josh, is the REARC company. They've been awarded an excellence award in the commercial five to $10 million category for their great work building the Burlington Emergency and Veterinary Specialist Project. Such a great project from such a new member, Will. Absolutely. Burlington Emergency and Veterinary Specialist has been the premier emergency veterinary center in northern Vermont for over 10 years. The center's previous location was only 5,500 square feet and did not meet the veterinary medical needs of the community. In 2017, the owners decided to move forward with construction of a new facility and chose REARC Company as the builders. The new facility tripled the size of their existing practice and allows the veterinary team to have all specialty veterinary services under one roof. The new building includes separate suites for rehab, oncology, dentistry, surgery, internal medicine, radiation, CT, MRI, and X-ray. The new facility also provided ample office space, a staff lounge, on-call rooms, and a spacious conference room. The building was designed with a steel superstructure. However, the front reception and main entry were designed with Douglas fir timber frame assembly. The exterior walls were framed with wood members, but all interior framing was cold formed metal framing. The new veterinary facility required epoxy flooring throughout the majority of the medical space. During epoxy flooring installation, no other trades could be in the same areas for nearly two weeks. REARC divided the epoxy flooring scope into five separate phases to allow work to continue in other areas simultaneously. Mobilizing the major imaging equipment into the new space required some redesign of MEP systems and shielding package. A crane was used to rig both large pieces of equipment into the finished space. REARC worked hand-in-hand -hand with Efficiency Vermont to review the building systems, equipment specifications, and possible incentives. A photovoltaic array was installed on the roof to help offset energy costs. Low VOC materials were specified and provided on the job. The project was designed to be as sustainable and as efficient as possible. A late decision to add an MRI suite to the project caused delays. Once the decision was made to proceed, the equipment needed to be procured and then the MRI suite fully designed. The project was turned over to the owner in mid-March of 2019, and the MRI suite was complete in June of 2019. REARC had to shift from having a full construction site to an occupied site, having to construct the MRI suite while the building was fully occupied. This new state-of-the-art project is Vermont's first and only emergency animal hospital. From expert emergency and critical care 24 hours a day to advanced veterinary specialty and referral services, Burlington Emergency and Veterinary Specialist is both sustainably built and aesthetically pleasing. The new building allows them to continue providing a superior level of care. Hi everyone, I'm Greg Barron with Lawn Champs Electric and on behalf of Lawn Champs Electric and all the employees there, 
I'd like to congratulate all of the winning recipients of the ABC Excellence in Construction Awards. And hopefully in the near future, we can all be back together at an event and see each other. In the category of historical restorations over 10 million, Bonnet, Page and Stone wins a merit award for their work on the Hampton Academy Renovation and Addition Project. Hampton Academy is a K-8 public school located in Hampton, New Hampshire, with 400 students and 65 teachers and administrators. The historic building was dedicated in 1939, with additions added to the structure in 1961 and 1974. In 2017, the town approved a $25.9 million renovation and addition to the school and selected H.L. Turner Architects and Bonnet Page and Stone as the builder. Completed in 2019, the original building was fully renovated with a complimentary addition for the students and faculty. A poorly constructed addition was removed and a new gymnasium was constructed. The existing insufficient 1939 gymnasium was repurposed into a new auditorium. In all 17,000 square feet was demolished, 63,000 square feet was constructed, and 67,000 square feet was renovated. All of the remaining existing spaces were fully renovated and updated. Open fields and green space were preserved, and the building was designed to maximize the views of this green space and preserve the historic views of the original 1939 school from city streets. New insulation systems in conjunction with new mechanical and electrical systems provide an efficient, sustainable and durable building. This major renovation and addition project included a two-year construction period during which cost and labor demand was at its peak. Through careful planning and communication, Bonnet Page and Stone Builders were able to keep labor and material costs within budget. Construction occurred while the school was still in session. Safety of the students was paramount and the project team worked to develop a fluid phasing plan to coordinate with teachers, police, fire, select board, school board to ensure any changes were documented and communicated effectively. Through excellent communication and cooperation by the school, design team, construction manager and subcontractors, the project was able to stay on time, on budget, and without incident or interruption to the children's education. Bonnet Page and Stone Builders delivered a modern design for a historic school that will serve the Hampton community for years to come. Hey everyone, this is Gary Thomas from North Point Construction. We just wanted to wish everybody the best on the Excellence Awards and sorry we can't see everyone in person, but hopefully we get to see each other other than virtually soon. The next award to be presented tonight is a Merit Award in the commercial under $2 million category. This goes to Atlantic Prefab for their work on the All-American Assisted Living Project. You know, Will, I just gotta say, I've toured Atlantic Prefab's facility, and it is awesome just to see merit shop craft workers in action, building high quality stuff. It's really great. You gotta get out there sometime and check it out. Absolutely. All American Assisted Living at Kingston is a residential community located in Southern New Hampshire and designed for active seniors. This impressive 60,000 square foot community includes apartments, recreational areas, and medical services in an atmosphere that feels like home. Atlantic Prefab was pleased to take part in this unique community through their affiliation with Metro Walls, who was awarded the framing and drywall contract. Atlantic Prefab supplied not only the panelized structural wall system, but also the highly intricate roof truss system, the parallel cord floor truss system, loose shipped joist and rafter materials. Essentially, Atlantic Prefab was responsible for the building's entire structural shell, with the exception of some miscellaneous red iron. The bidding process for the project took almost two years. When Atlantic Prefab was finally awarded the contract, they had several other active projects and needed to be creative in order to squeeze in this large project. With careful planning and the help of subcontracted additional labor, they were able to meet the schedule. 
A mid-production change to the rough openings for the interior load-bearing walls posed a challenge. The rough opening sizes originally provided by the general contractor had not included the allowance for wood blocking with the openings. Partway through production, the change was made to require this wood blocking. This change prompted a recall and revision of all previously completed shop drawings. The interior doors needed to be delivered to the job site by a particular date, however the building nor the site were ready. Atlantic Prefab was able to provide a competitive off-site storage solution and later delivered the doors to the site on an as-needed basis. The originally designed pump house for the project lagged due to planning board approvals and changes in construction materials and requirements. Atlantic Prefab worked with a general contractor to provide a panelized approach to the pump house, utilizing cold-formed steel wall panels with sheathing as well as the parallel cord roof trusses. By committing to prefabrication and off-site construction, the completed project was delivered approximately three months early, welcoming residents to a beautiful new community at the All-American Assisted Living at Kingston. Hi, my name is Ron Ciotti. I'm a construction attorney with Hinkley Allen. I want to congratulate all of the Excellence Award winners and all of those who submitted projects because frankly all of them were impressive. I am truly blessed and honored uh, to be called legal counsel by so many of the Excellence Award winners. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with me, um, construction law is all I do and I'm on the board of directors here and I'm one of two national board members uh, for this organization which I'm truly uh, honored to be. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with my firm, Hinkley Allen is a full service business law firm uh, with one of the largest construction law practices in the entire Northeast. We have offices in New York, Boston, Hartford, Connecticut, Providence, Rhode Island, Albany, New York, and all the way out to Chicago. But the most important one is right here in Manchester, New Hampshire. So we can fill, certainly fill your needs uh, for whatever legal services you need. And I hope that if you're not already a client, I hope that you give us an opportunity in the future to represent you in some way. Again, for all those winners, Congratulations. Great job. This next award goes to Chimbro for their impressive ECU module project. Their work has earned an excellence award in the industrial manufacturing category, Josh. Cool. In June 2016, Shell Chemical Appalachia LLC made the final investment decision to build a major petrochemicals plant on the banks of the Ohio River near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The plant would consist of an ethylene cracker with a polyethylene derivatives unit. Chinbro Industrial Group was selected for the project because of their safety record, the client's past positive experience working with them, and the quality of the Chinbro module yard in Brewer, Maine. Each of the seven furnaces Chinbro built consisted of eight individual modules along with four stair tower modules. Work in the module yard took place year-round over an 18-month period that included some considerably harsh winter conditions. The work included structural steel erection, pipe assembly, hydrostatic and pneumatic testing, electrical, instrumentation, insulation, and coatings. Chinbro faced several unique challenges, including material procurement, significant scope growth, and build schedule resequencing, all of which required working hand-in-hand -hand with the client to overcome. As material needs and construction scope grew and changed, the team enlisted the help of several other groups within the Chinbro companies. Skilled craftspeople from as far away as Texas and the Midwest joined local Chinbro resources and subcontractors to increase production and address the client's needs. Chinbro Fabrication and Coating Corporation took on a portion of the new work. By moving a portion of the scope off-site, the project team was able to focus largely on the original scope while their fabrication team in Pittsfield, Maine worked in parallel to reduce the schedule impact and meet the high demands of the project. Chinbro worked approximately 837,000 work hours, not including 560,000 work hours performed by a Chinbro subsidiary, Starcon, as well as Northeastern Insulation Services, NIS, Northeastern Scaffolding Services, NSS, and other subcontractors. In November 2019, the completed modules were loaded onto barges with heavy haul transporters. 
and fastened in place onto load spreaders and sea fastening systems to endure the nearly 40-day ocean transport down the East Coast, up the Mississippi and Ohio rivers to their final delivery point at the new plant in Manaka, Pennsylvania. Hey everyone, I'm Rusty Mosca, Managing Director of Nathan Wexler & Company. We're a CPA firm in Concord that has been part of ABC for over 30 years. It's been our honor, humbly, to be part of this great industry where we have so many clients and we want to especially um, reach out and congratulate the winners tonight for all their hard work in this industry specifically for keeping New Hampshire going. It's been an honor and once again uh, we're so happy to be part of this as we've been part of ABC and also on the board for many years. So. Congratulations to ABC and on to 2021. This next award goes to Ekman Construction for their project, the Keene State College Cohen Center for Holocaust and Genocide Studies. This impressive new learning center has earned an excellence award. In 2018, New Hampshire's Keene State College broke ground on an 8,000 square foot addition to the Mason Library, the Cohen Center for Holocaust and Genocide Studies. The Cohen Center was designed by Perry Dean Rogers and Partners Architects, and Ekman Construction was selected as the construction manager. Keene State is the only institution in America that offers an undergraduate degree in Holocaust and Genocide Studies, and the Cohen Center is one of the oldest Holocaust research programs in the country. The Cohen Center features a gallery, classrooms, offices, and an auditorium. A Jerusalem-inspired brick veneer complements the dramatic design of the addition and distinguishes the new home for the Cohen Center from the standard red brick facade commonly found throughout campus. Construction took place in the most heavily trafficked pedestrian route on campus. A secure buffer was created around the worksite, including fencing along the outer exterior boundaries and temporary walls within the library boundaries. While managing a constrained site on an occupied campus, no safety incidents were recorded. Ekman Construction's professionalism and excellent communication with the client overcame the logistical challenge of working within an occupied, student-centered, quiet library building, one that is a key campus destination. Demolition work, including removal of masonry and use of temporary supports, had to be surgical and well-timed in relation to the academic calendar and even calibrated to the daily rhythm of library occupancy. Noise and vibrations were major impacts that were managed with great care and sensitivity. Deciding on the right brick for the Cohen Center took longer than the schedule had anticipated due to multiple rounds of mock-ups. The Ekman construction team understood that getting it right was paramount and worked diligently and patiently with the design team and donor to test multiple iterations. The selected design required 25 different shapes of brick and a total of 42,165 bricks were used in the project, with 5% of them angled out on all of the smooth elevations. To ensure proper installation, GW Pin Masonry used half and concealed lintel systems at all windows. These had to be welded to the tube steel and carefully coordinated to ensure they were in the proper position. A half and concealed lintel soffit was also used at the entry. This involved a lintel system that attached to two tube steels and a steel beam for support. A shoring system was framed and built out to accomplish this. Again, the placement of the C channels for the half and support was carefully coordinated for correct placement, which was the most challenging part of the install. Through design and expert construction management, the project has been widely viewed as a great success and a source of much pride from the Keene community. The overall completed project is a dramatic balance of the college's traditional past and modern present. Over the years, we've built a lot of great relationships. One thing I can say is we're not in this for the quick buck, we're in it for the long haul. I wanna work for the best. I wanna know who the best is out there and I wanna help them be better and be the best and maintain number one spot. If you hire Metro Walls, you're gonna hire a responsible contractor who takes this job very seriously and does it right. Customers return to us 
knowing that we're large enough to handle multiple projects at the same time, while also giving them the attention that they deserve. Our next winning project is in the category of Institutional Public Under 2 Million. Fulcrum Associates has earned a merit award for their project, the 6th District Court Probate Division Project. In 2017, the state of New Hampshire announced it would renovate the Merrimack County Probate Court in Concord, New Hampshire, in preparation for a high-profile, highly publicized case. Fulcrum Associates was selected to manage the construction project. Formerly having housed the administrative office of the courts, the original two-story, wood-framed building needed to be repurposed to support the probate court's functions, enable a current-day working environment, capture energy efficiencies, and embody the prestigious character you would expect to find in a court of law. The 8,400 square foot of interior work included renovations to the attic and the majority of the second floor, as well as creation of a new interior staircase. New ceilings, carpet, and tile flooring were installed throughout the entire building, and all mechanical, electrical, and sprinkler systems were replaced or upgraded. Exterior renovations included the removal and replacement of shingles and flashing, a new granite sign, minor landscaping, and two new flagpoles with spotlights. They also managed the removal, safe storage, and reinstallation of stained glass panels made by a local artist. Fulcrum had no recordable injuries during the project. The courtroom and lobby included a full-height wood wall panel system and wood inlay for the acoustical ceilings, all of which was created by a local New Hampshire woodworker. The design also included reuse of wooden pews sourced from the probate court's previous courtroom. Unanticipated challenges included the deteriorating condition of the roof, which needed to be repaired. The roof truss system also needed to be modified to fit new equipment into the space. As roof work was underway, it became apparent that significant structural modification was needed to accommodate the increased building load. Upgrades to the subfloor were required to provide proper support throughout the building. The ductwork installation also proved challenging, as it was more complex than initially thought and required a unique configuration and installation. Another unforeseen challenge occurred in the basement with the relocation of a bathroom. Historical documents did not accurately reflect the location of the sanitary line. As work continued in search of the pipe, they found the slab was compromised with loose granular sand shifting underneath. The Fulcrum team addressed the issue of the sanitary line, and once that was remedied, they introduced flowable fill into the cavity to regain the structural integrity of the slab. Considering the unforeseen conditions and challenges, the Fulcrum team proudly completed the project ahead of the occupancy requirement outlined by the state of New Hampshire. The court began to move their staff in late November of 2018, and they were ready for the media attention brought on by their first legal case. The introduction of modern design and building systems refreshed the outdated building and enabled the court to have a new home where they could conduct their business efficiently and effectively. I'm John Bristol, president of Oliver Mechanical. The ABC Excellence Awards celebrate the best of the best and all the projects nominated are truly impressive. We are proud to sponsor this event and support our local ABC chapter. As one of the leading mechanical contractors in the state of New Hampshire, Oliver Mechanical is here to support your HVAC and plumbing needs. Our large field force and dedicated project management team will drive your project schedule with a focus on safety, quality, and customer satisfaction. From all of us at Oliver Mechanical, congratulations to tonight's winners, and we wish everyone well. Hope to see you soon. Our next award goes to Deco Inc. in the commercial under $2 million category. This prestigious merit shop company has earned an excellence award for their project, the Tri-K Proteins Plant Relocation. Tri-K Industries is a manufacturer of specialty ingredients, bringing innovative concepts and products to the cosmetics industry. The company acquired new space in Derry, New Hampshire to relocate their proteins division manufacturing operations from an antiquated building in Salem, New Hampshire. The relocation included specialty pieces of manufacturing equipment, redesigned piping delivery systems, a modernized process control system, 
and new stainless steel platforms for personnel and equipment. North Point Construction Management was selected to manage this project. North Point contracted with DECO for the project's $1.5 million process piping systems. DECO's portion of the work began in July 2019 and was completed in January 2020. The process piping systems DECO delivered included vegetable product lines, an animal protein system, product adjustment and packing lines, cooling tower piping, IP charging system, scrubber equipment and piping, filter press system, critical air system and equipment, condensate piping, process water system, and an effluent piping delivery system. The DECO project team was carefully selected to meet the client's demands. Tom Ouellette, a senior process construction supervisor with over 25 years of critical process construction leadership, was assigned as the project superintendent. He spent three weeks in the Salem, New Hampshire facility watching the process flows, the personnel access challenges, and the equipment maintenance problems with the existing configuration. Tom worked closely with North Point and Tri-K and developed a conceptual plan for the removal of critical process equipment from the old facility and a rigging plan for their reinstallation in the new location. He also developed a prefabrication and installation plan for the new piping system. Once developed, they engaged with Deco Fab for the production support to prefabricate 375 piping assemblies in their Brookline, New Hampshire facility. Shutting down, removing, and relocating 12 critical process systems at once while keeping the client productive requires extraordinary planning and precise execution. The DECO shutdown execution plan was put in place to drive the critical thinking and execution of this challenge. The plan was developed for every process system and each piece of process equipment. The aggressive schedule and client's need to continually operate sections of their process made the challenge unique. In the end, DECO's design team reduced the amount of process piping footage from approximately 9,400 feet to 7,500 feet, making for an efficient operation that reduced energy costs and reduced overall project budget. DECO successfully minimized the impact of the business relocation while concurrently making process improvements that will increase production to meet their rising market demands. You know, well, before we continue on, I got to say, I had the chance to tour that whales in action. It was really cool to see a bunch of Marichop craft workers at the top of the performance delivering. And there was this really great woman welder who was actually an apprentice. I've never seen such good stainless steel welding ever. It's really remarkable work that they do. Oh, they're amazing. There's a lot of talent out there. We're very fortunate in our industry. We sure are. So, Will, what's up next? So now, the next project award is found in the institutional public over $10 million. DEW Construction has presented an excellence award for their fantastic work on the Wyndham School District SAU 95 project. The community of Wyndham, New Hampshire experienced a more than 30% growth between 2000 and 2016, resulting in the Wyndham School District growing overcrowded with a considerable lack of square footage. In March of 2017, the voters approved a $38.9 million bond to renovate the Golden Brook School and the Wyndham Middle School. The district plan was to nearly double the space. After a competitive interview process, the district hired DEW Construction as their chosen construction manager to bring their vision to a reality. In August of 2017, construction started on the three-phased project that would be completed over two years. The renovation of Golden Brook School included a new 37,000 square foot building with classrooms, pre-K education rooms, music rooms, project-based learning rooms, gymnasium, and a 3,000 square foot addition to the kindergarten classrooms. It is now one of the largest elementary schools in the state of New Hampshire, with capacity for up to 1,200 students. Upon entering the new 98,000 square foot two-story Wyndham Middle School, the lobby features vaulted ceilings pendant lights, and several large windows. Construction included the creation of new learning commons, four new science rooms, family consumer science rooms with five kitchens, special education rooms, and a new engineering lab with 3D printing capability. The project also included the rebuilding of stairs for egress and code issues, building safety corrections to fire ratings and egress components, as well as renovations to bathrooms. 
Renovating a school while it was occupied with students and faculty presented several challenges for the school population, visitors, as well as the workers involved in the construction. DEW was in constant communication with the district to coordinate student and staff activity and movement to ensure the safety of all. Daily meetings addressed concerns, mitigated potential problems, and facilitated timely decision-making. DEW worked off hours to not impact existing facility operations and for the safety of the students. There was also routine communication with local police and fire departments on safety and security measures. Every field employee and subcontractor needed to go through a fingerprinting process and acceptance prior to being allowed on site. The pre-planning, logistics, and coordination that were required to ensure a safe environment and adhere to the agreed-upon schedule and budget were spot on. Despite the project breaking ground six weeks later than scheduled because of property closing delays, all three phases of the project were completed on time. Not only was the budget met, but the project was completed nearly $1 million under budget. The entire team, architect, engineer, the district, and DEW, collaborated to ensure this project was a success for all of Wyndham. The results are modernized and comprehensive school buildings that support innovative, high-quality education and that meet the district's immediate and future needs. Boy, well, I don't tell you, but I wish my school looked that good growing up. Well, I mine did. I'm just <laughs> kidding. So what's up next, my friend? <laughs> Our next category is commercial over 10 million. Bringing home an excellence award in this category is Exterior Designs for their work on the Pioneer Project. The Pioneer is an apartment community in Everett, Massachusetts, offering a unique and beautiful design. The massive 286-unit building includes apartments in nearly 50 different layouts. Plum House was awarded the project and they in turn selected exterior designs to install the siding materials. The Pioneer is situated in a high traffic area of Everett and needed to have eye-catching curb appeal. The plans called for high-end metal siding and bright accent portals at the main entrances. Facing the busy parkway, the building has rustic and traditional facades with a modern and polished look. The sophisticated red aluminum composite metal entry draws your attention to the building's entrance. The polished cement floors, modern fixtures, and art decor provide a modern touch expected in the current market. Challenges in custom material procurement required that exterior design start from the top down and tie the project together. They tripled their manpower and had three separate crews installing multiple facades on different portions of the building simultaneously. The project location in the heart of a busy city made for an incredibly tight job site, requiring strategic planning for equipment placement and material allocation. A last-minute, unforeseen tie-in detail was discovered on each of the unit's balconies, requiring exterior designs to create a design solution to properly mitigate potential water issues. They worked quickly to provide multiple design options to be approved by the architect. The crew worked in and around high rainfall and winds, snowstorms, flooding, and freezing of the courtyards. With the project being on a tight site, the crew often had to hand shovel snow and ice to keep working. Mud flooding and freezing were all significant challenges endured to stay on schedule. Despite these challenges, there were no recordable injuries. No expense was spared in the design and quality of materials used for this building. The owners of the Pioneer set out to build a unique yet modern community with a look that was both rustic and contemporary. Exterior Design's work on the stylish exterior exceeded the owner's expectations on both look and quality. Now Josh, let's switch over to institutional public under two million to recognize another great project. Atlantic Prefab receives a Merit Award for the Garrity Courthouse Parking Garage. The Garrity Courthouse Parking Garage is adjacent to the Garrity Judicial Complex on Doran Street in downtown Providence, Rhode Island. The seven-level parking garage with first-floor retail space was a publicly bid job, 
Marriage Shop Atlantic Prefab was approached during the bidding phase to provide a value-engineered prefabricated exterior framing approach. The construction documents called for vertical aluminum truss frames to be installed over the parking garage's precast concrete walls as a subframe for sheathing and exterior finish build-out. Atlantic Prefab's approach was a more cost-effective cold-formed steel truss system that would be installed by the project's drywall and framing subcontractor. The new parking garage was a high-profile public project adjacent to the Garrahee Courthouse, making the architectural impact on the surrounding area crucial. The pronounced profile of the high-end finishes depended on the flexibility of Atlantic Prefab's supplied system. The entire project was unique due to the trusses being vertically rather than horizontally oriented. The vertical orientation in some locations of the building were as tall as 75 feet. This meant that the trusses built in 24-foot sections needed to have a means of attachment to each other as well as needing to share connection points at the steel and bed plates. At heights of 75 feet, the installation needed to be buildable while also being safe and efficient for the installers. Atlantic Prefab was also responsible for the connection of the trusses to the embed plates that were pre-installed in the precast concrete walls. Design resources were needed far in advance and outside of the typical process and schedule, which resulted in many hours of weekend work. A challenge with any truss project is transporting materials to the site. The first delivery was a fully loaded 48-foot trailer with trusses packed in groups of 10, loaded to ensure safe and efficient unloading by the installer on site. The general contractor was concerned about their team's ability to safely unload the trusses, so all subsequent loads needed to be delivered with a smaller truck and trailer. Fabrication and delivery schedule were a moving target. When the final installation schedule was provided, Atlantic's design resources were booked. Through time crunching and weekend work, they were able to finalize all of the required production documentation in time to meet the client's schedule and deliver the materials required to complete the Garrahee Courthouse parking garage. The next category is Institutional Public 2 to 5 million. Sullivan Construction LLC wins a merit award for their work on the Catholic Medical Center Vein and Vascular Specialties Project. Catholic Medical Center's new state-of-the-art vein and vascular specialist facility in Bedford, New Hampshire offers convenient outpatient treatment for a range of conditions. CMC partnered with Lavallee Brenzinger Architects and Sullivan Construction on the 12,000 square foot facility which opened in April 2018. The space was part of an existing building which was completely gutted on the inside. The architect created a design which met the needs of the client in terms of providing a welcoming healing environment for patients, and Sullivan completed all of the fit-up according to those plans. In the procedure rooms, selected materials and finishes for walls and flooring were chosen based on their aesthetics to clean and maintain surfaces easily. Specialty systems included HVAC, medical gas, and electrical. Highly effective LED lighting was used throughout the project, resulting in energy efficiency and sustainable material usage. The building was an older structure and posed challenges prior to the start of construction. The underground piping was corroded in several spots and needed to be identified and repaired. The exterior of the building was leaking and had to be sealed, and the HVAC equipment was located on the roof while a functioning healthcare facility operated on the second floor. The greatest challenge involved the exterior of the building, which was extremely wet because it wasn't sealed properly. This caused a three-week delay in production. As the landlord sealed the building, Sullivan Construction was constantly running dehumidifiers and air handlers to continue working. Sullivan project managers coordinated with architects, subcontractors and engineers to determine timing and space needs. The project took a total of seven months to complete and was done on time, within budget, and with no reportable injuries. Sullivan Construction delivered a space for the CMC Vein and Vascular Specialist Facility in which the community can feel comfortable, safe, and healed by. Hi, I'm Eric Horner with the Rowley Agency. On behalf of the Rowley Agency and all the fine people in our office that support the construction industry and work with commercial contractors on a daily basis, we would like to congratulate this year's recipients of the ABC Excellence in Construction Awards 2020. The Rowley Agency started in 1966 solely as a bonding agency for contractors throughout New England. 
and now we have turned into a full service agency over the years for benefits, safety, insurance, and bonds. We're very happy to be part of this event and congratulations to all. Thank you. You know, Will, it's really great to see our contractors literally building our community and providing great value added for people living here in New Hampshire and Vermont. There's a lot of work that's been done, really good work. It sure is. I'm sure we have another great project, don't we? Yes, we do. Our next project comes from Procon, our host today, in the design build category. Procon has earned an excellence award for their great work constructing the AC Hotel by Marriott. The AC Hotel by Marriott and the NVO Event Center located in Portsmouth, New Hampshire opened in 2019, providing modern accommodations for tourists and business travelers to the historic Seacoast community. The design-build hotel constructed by Procon sits on a piece of land once used by early shipbuilders, and its design elements pay homage to years gone by while transforming an unsightly parking lot into a showpiece. The 152,000-square-foot, five-story hotel has 156 deluxe guest rooms and a 4,500-square-foot event space named the Envio. There are two media salons with collaborative technology, a boardroom, and a 1,350-square-foot subdividable conference area located on the first floor. An additional 2,335 square foot of leasable office and retail space is available on the ground floor, with a parking garage for 110 vehicles. Perched atop the AC Hotel on a raised roof terrace is the rooftop at Envio, Portsmouth's newest restaurant and bar which offers indoor and outdoor seating with panoramic views of the Piscataqua River. The hotel is located within the city of Portsmouth's historic district commission. This required Procon to carefully articulate the building design to meet the existing character of its location. The design process took several months longer as Procon carefully adjusted the exterior design to meet the restrictions set by the city. It took five hearings with the Historic District Commission, followed by nine amendments to the design to receive final approval. Procon mitigated unforeseen conditions on the site while digging for footings and finding wharfs that have been in place for hundreds of years that needed to be removed. The Procon team had to work around a city's sewer improvement project that surrounded the hotel project for weeks beyond the expected timeline, all while maintaining their own schedule. While planning the construction of the hotel project, space constraint was a major concern as the building footprint was the same size as the site. The team had to manage difficult space constraints by pre-planning material handling and laydown areas and by securing one-way street access from the city of Portsmouth. Once the first floor podium and parking deck was put in place, a 154-foot self-erecting crane was brought into the space to complete construction of the remaining floors. A tower crane with a 138-foot boom length was brought in to pick the working crane up and over the building to remove it from the site. Amid construction, the owner changed the scope of the project by adding the rooftop at Envio, a restaurant and bar with an outdoor deck. The addition required many changes to the interior of the hotel after the space was constructed. The AC Hotel by Marriott was constructed with multiple design changes utilizing Procon's seamless design-build method. The new five-story upscale AC Hotel by Marriott Portsmouth opened in February 2020 in the city's rapidly developing North End. Those sure are comfy hotels, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah. Now let's turn back to the institutional under $2 million category for a moment to just recognize another great project. Atlantic Prefab receives an excellence award for the Portsmouth Medical Park Building A project. The newly built 65,000 square foot Portsmouth Medical Park sits adjacent to the Jackson Gray Medical Facility and only steps away from the Portsmouth Regional Hospital. Procon was awarded the job as general contractor, as well as providing the architectural and structural engineering service. Metro Walls was awarded the drywall and framing, and in turn contracted with Atlantic Prefab to provide exterior envelope panels that consisted of framing, sheathing, and a weather barrier. Procon knew they would be able to tightly control and expedite the dry-in phase of the building by using exterior envelope panels designed and fabricated off-site by Atlantic Prefab. The modern design styling of the building offered a few unique challenges that needed an innovative approach. Atlantic Prefab was responsible for the complete exterior weather tight shell. This included challenging features such as window rough openings, wrapping the major exterior corners of the building, 
cable suspended canopies, and large shadow boxes surrounding the large windows on the east and west elevations. All of these areas were tackled with the use of prefabricated components with minimal complication. The weather barrier requirement was a Class A, non-combustible and non-permeable product. The initial weather barrier product was Stowe's non-permeable fluid applied vapor seal. However, after additional review, it was found that this product did not meet the specification when utilized behind metal panel finishes. In response, Atlantic Prefab selected an alternative foil-faced peel-and-stick product by Carlisle. This particular product had not been used prior to this project, so Atlantic Prefab worked with the manufacturer to ensure the required details were met and met their specification. The final typical panel size for this project was very large at 12 feet 4 inches by 44 feet 4 inches. This encompassed three stories and one panel and required an escorted load for delivery. The panels also needed to be tested to ensure they would be able to resist the forces involved when going from a horizontal position to vertical when being installed. The installation of the majority of an elevation was done in just four hours. Some areas of the structure required that the weather barrier be field applied. An Atlantic prefab manufacturer trained weather barrier foreman spent a couple of days on site to complete these tricky areas. The final reward for the Atlantic prefab team was in seeing the large panels glide through the air and effortlessly slide into place, turning a bare structural frame into the shape of the area's next high-end medical office building. Each installed panel is a symbol of the innovation, risk, commitment, and forward thinking that is Atlantic Prefab. And Josh? Well? Finally, we're here. We're at the point in the program. Is this the Chairman's Award? I, yes it is. How about that? There were a lot of stellar projects this year, and the judges had a really tough time choosing a winner from so many great entries. To help me present the award this year, our special guest, Scott Knightley from EnviroVantage. Scott? Hi everyone, I'm Scott Knightley from EnviroVantage, and I'm glad to be virtually with you. I want to thank everyone for being a part of our construction community and supporting ABC through these times. And I want to thank ABC for hosting this great event, and maybe next year we can all be together in person. Tonight, I have the honor of presenting to you the Chairman's Award. This project was chosen by the judges for its outstanding dedication to quality, presentation, and merit shop excellence. Please join me in congratulating DEW Construction for their performance on the Wyndham School District SAU number 95 project. The 2020 Chairman Award goes to DEW Construction and the Wyndham School District renovation. The project, which nearly doubled the existing square footage of Golden Brook School, was constructed in three phases over two years beginning in August 2017. DEW had one year to complete 40,000 square feet of the affected gross area during Phase 1 and less than 11 months to complete Phase 2, which was nearly 100,000 square feet. Phase 3, the renovation at the middle school, was completed over the summer of 2019. DEW's ability to honor the tight schedule and deadline while maintaining a high standard of work was no small feat. Project hours were a minimum of 14 hours per day, 7 days a week. Daily meetings with school officials were held to coordinate student and staff activity and movement to ensure the safety of all. There was also routine communication with local police and fire departments on safety and security measures. Every field employee and subcontractor had to pass through a security check prior to being allowed on site. Separation barriers between the operational school and the construction zone ensured the schools could remain operational and safe with minimal disruptions. DEW also had to maintain the existing traffic flow until a new loop road was built and provide adequate parking for the operational school and construction employees. DEW Superintendent Dan Riley saw the project as an opportunity to contribute to student learning. He led a monthly assembly and provided opportunities for the community and student body to learn more about how the ongoing building construction related to their science, technology, engineering, the arts and mathematics, STEAM curriculum. The pre-planning, logistics and coordination that were required to ensure a safe environment and adhere to the agreed upon schedule and budget were spot on. Despite the project breaking ground six weeks later than scheduled, 
because of property closing delays. All three phases of the project were completed on time. Not only was the budget met, but the project was completed nearly $1 million under budget. Congratulations to all our winners. All the New Hampshire, Vermont Excellence winners are now a member of this chapter's very exclusive Excellence Club. Yes, that's right, Well, And a copy of this presentation will be available at abcnhvt.org. So please be sure to share that with all your friends and colleagues. Uh, personally, I want to say thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. Will? And on behalf of the New Hampshire, Vermont ABC chapter, I want to thank you for joining us tonight. Stay safe.